The most charming thing about Wade is that he's just so charismatic and funny. If I saw him with a woman and really believed that he was interested, yes, that would cause me to feel jealous. Darcy's a successful corporate lawyer. She and Wade have been together for one year. He completely disarmed me and got past all that armor that I pretty much have up on a daily basis. Wade got a job offer in Boston and is pressuring Darcy to move there with him. I'm very nervous that I may see something today that I don't want to see. Darcy suspects Wade has a wandering eye, so before completely uprooting her life for him, she wants to make sure Wade will remain faithful to her. I want to find out. I'm a logical person. I want to know the facts. I want to know for sure before I make a decision. Darcy feels that Wade would be most tempted by a woman who is more sensual and easygoing than she is, which is exactly what our temptress Megan is going to be for this assignment. She's playing a massage therapist about to open a very special healing center. Our temptress Megan has arranged to meet Wade at our Temptation Station, a bar where we have cleverly hidden cameras to catch all the action. Wade? Using Facebook, Megan contacted Wade and set up this meeting under the guise of needing business advice. While Temptress Megan puts Wade's loyalty to the test, Darcy and I will be watching a live feed of The Temptation in the back room of the bar. I'll be there to help her through this if Wade takes the bait. She looks like she got dressed at the flea market. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Wade can stand the sheer sensual power of this setup. Can I get you something to drink? Um, oh yes, uh, just like a soda water would be great. Hi. 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 Soda water. Yeah. Okay. I work for other people now. It's kind of like being a trainer if if you work for LA Fitness, you know, but you're not okay. you're not really doing your own thing. And right. I really I, I wanna branch out and start my go. own. Oh thank you so much. You say it's limiting what uh, how can well, a spa just limiting do, what as are to they what, doing? what I can and can't practice. What would really make your spa special? Um, well, the main thing that would set it apart. We have a kind of sexual chakra focus. It's all about healing people that way and getting them in touch. Is this, I mean, is this legal? The whole sexual tantric oh, spa thing? Oh, of course. Okay. You're aware of, of where you need to be. And I think you know you need to go to that place. And just the fact that you're aware is huge. It's about the journey. Okay. You might do some yoga just to kind of loosen you up and do you practice yoga? I love yoga. He hates yoga. He went once and bitched about it the whole entire time. And He's was... trying to impress her. Why is he trying to impress her? I don't her? know. What do you think? Darcy told us Wade likes his ears touched. Megan, touch his ear. Find a reason to touch his ear. You hold a lot of tension here. Mm -hmm. You're right about that. He really does like that, doesn't he? You shouldn't be liking it from a stranger. And I'm wondering, the liver and the kidneys, do you feel anything there? In my liver and kidneys? <laughs> You're so funny. You're a funny man. OK, Megan, let's do the drop and pick up test. Oh, excuse me. Hold on one second. He's checking out her ass. How you doing? I feel like I don't even know him. Who is this person? You've got some sort oh, of this always happens. going on <laughs> with your hair. I just loosened you up and now you're untangling me. That sounds like um, a deal. Thank you. Yeah. Can you feel me touching your liver? This is getting harder and harder to watch by the moment. It's time for Darcy's last chance call. Let's see if Wade weasels his way out of this one. Um. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? I'm just, I'm finishing something up. I took uh, some of the clients after my afternoon meeting. We're just having a little happy hour, doing a little business. 
and um come home what's wrong? right now <laughs> i have no idea when it's gonna be it's gonna be late i'll call you as soon as i'm out the door are you in a relationship um You know, at this point, I have no idea. Honestly. You don't know if you're in love? You know how two people can be in love, but then completely pull away from each other? Mm -hmm. What does he even mean by that? Has he ever spoken like that to you? I guess you would say I'm dealing with a person who's a handful and a mouthful, and I'm having a hard time getting the word in edgewise. Forgive me if I'm for it. What, you want to ask me something? There we go. talk a lot but I do so he says I kind of fill in the blanks all the time so I think kind of he likes how we're a little opposite but um, we tend to kind of balance each other but Heather suspects Steve really wants to be with skinnier girls like the ones he has plastered all over their garage Steve works on cars and he has all these posters up of all these women who are, are so much thinner and taller sometimes I, I just don't know if I'm the one he wants to be with Forever. We're tempting Steve with Megan, playing a hot rod chick looking to soup up her car. Hey. Hi. I'm testing him because I I want to make sure that he he is in it with me, that he doesn't want anyone else. Megan contacted Steve through his shop's website to set up this meeting. Let's see if Steve will go under her hood. And you look even better than your picture. I'm ready. I'm ready for you to for you to test him. What car you have? It's a 69 Chevy Corvette. So what do you need to do to it? I don't know. What do you want to do to it? Do you do I'm really open. Do you want a shot? Uh, well, well, I thought we were going to do a, just talk about the... I, w I was kind of expecting like a meeting. You know, yeah, that's what this is. What is this business? The way I do business. Right. I need to know that you can hang if you're going to... To my car. Cheers. Cheers. Megan, tell him your favorite place is Little Jimmy's on Second Avenue. That's that's our place. But do you ever go to uh, Little Jimmy's? I love Little Jimmy's. Are you kidding me? It's my favorite place. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. They definitely seem to be connecting, though, on, on many levels, by the body language. I mean, I, th I think it's just business. It's yeah. charming. Yeah, someone else. Right. What's that on your neck? Oh, it's uh, just a, it's a necklace that my, my, um, hmm. my girlfriend gave to me. He just called me his girlfriend. We're engaged. So, listen, we've been drinking, and I totally forgot. I have pictures in my... Uh, Penthouse suite across the street. You, you have a penthouse? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Across your street? It's full bar, a jacuzzi. Seriously? Yeah. So why don't we take this party over there? Does that sound good? <laughs> so are you really asking me to go over there right now? I'm really asking you to come over there to continue our business meeting. Right, yeah. <laughs> In my penthouse. Heather wants to help Steve make the right decision by using her last chance call. Oh, sweet. Do you have to take that? 
no. What the f uh, Heather is about to learn a hard lesson about trust and patience. Um, so let's go. <laughs> I can't go across the street to your penthouse. Show called Tempted. This is a TV show? A TV show called Tempted, and you passed the test. Let's pass what test? Well, your fiance. This isn't a job? No, we hired no. Megan to test you to see if you would cheat or would be tempted so to you, do this, stuff. This has nothing to do with cars. There's no car. It's not a job. What is this? I don't understand what this is. But I'm not skinny. So what are you talking about, babe? I love you. This is so stupid. Are you kidding? <laughs> Tempting me? You called me my, your girlfriend. I called my. In the beginning, I called you. My Why, girlfriend. Why? Oh, in the beginning? Yeah, in the beginning when you were letting her touch her Are you face. serious? This is how you want to figure that out instead of just talking to me? You want to put me on a f***ing oh, no. TV? Get the f***ing thing out of my f***ing face. This is ridiculous. I don't even know. I don't have any... This is it with this Dean. No, go back. Every day. Dean. No, no, I didn't mean it. Dean. Dean. Just give me a second. Give me a second. It's always this is... This is... I didn't mean, I didn't want to mess this up this bad. No, I understand, but this was a lot. This was a lot. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be this serious. What I do, I've lived in this for so long.